What's happening, YouTube? Averse, it's your boy Darkularity. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. Where last time, what did we do last time? We got ourselves a Dodecarus. Uh, it was quite the adventure, <laughs> that's for sure. We were able to kill an Alpha Carno, so that was super fantastic. And uh, our Dodecarus is over here. His name is Dick. We have Dick the Dodecarus. And then I went ahead and I named our T-Rex Karen because uh, she's got a bit of a bad attitude and she's got some really bad breath. So what are we gonna do today? Well, we need to prepare, start prepping towards having a greenhouse. That bush is like phasing in and out of existence over there. <laughs> That's okay. But I wanna prepare for a greenhouse, which means we're gonna need to lay down some foundations to figure out where we're gonna put it. And then we're gonna need to get a Fioma and some dung beetles. Uh, a Fioma, just because, you know, you feed them stim berries and they poop super fast, which is gonna be good for the dung beetles because they now automatically pick up poop and convert it into fertilizer. And that's gonna help us grow our plants because I wanna start getting some, um, some veggies and stuff growing as well as narco berries, which is gonna save us on having to go out and farm the stuff. We can farm it in our beautiful greenhouse and grow our own stuff. So I'm thinking this area right here for the greenhouse uh, I want to also set up a stable and whatnot for um, the dung beetles and the Fioma. So let's, uh, I'm going to grab Steven. Where's he at? There he is. Come on, Steven. Let's go harvest these trees and kind of get rid of them here. Uh, we don't need this one. We don't need this one. And I'm thinking, um, how are we looking on space here now? This might be okay. It's, man, it's really dark right now. I've been messing with server settings, trying to, um, we might as well just clear out these trees here. Just so we got a little more space. You two, you go. Bad tree. Um, let's go ahead and just get rid of all these berry things. Uh, lower, or increase our weight a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll park Steven over here. Man, the lighting looks super weird. But anyway, um, I've been messing with the server settings. Is it the clouds that are doing that? Yeah, I think it's the cloud shadows. I don't know. Super weird. Anyway, I've been messing with the server settings, trying to uh, increase some stuff. So I think I got the breeding stuff all tuned in, um, you know, in, like increased baby, um, like their growth speed, their hatch speed, all that stuff, as well as the making sure I can like imprint them properly. So I'm hoping I have those settings correct. I don't know what it is with Nitrato, man. <laughs> like if you're going to be, if you're going to have an exclusivity deal, this is going to be the only time I rant about this. Then like have your shit pardon my French, like work properly. Like, you know, the settings that we, that we need to have on the server, like, dude, come on, man. Like, I don't know. Some of them don't work like daytime and nighttime speed. Uh, I've been trying to mess with those settings and I, I cannot get nighttime to go faster, which is annoying for me as trying to create content for this. Cause I don't want to do it at nighttime in the dark for you guys. Um, but I can't figure that out. But what I did, it was able to figure out here. So let's have a look at our bird. Uh, I got stacking meat. Uh, they all stacked to 300. So prime meat stacks to 300. Um, like all the cooked and, and raw versions of meat and prime meat, everything stacks to 300. So that's fantastic. Uh, I also was able to figure out uh, increasing the weight capacity of my characters and dinos. So we all have a little bit more weight, which is super great. At a point, get a little more. That's awesome. Um, what else did I adjust? I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's come through here. Actually, you know what? Um, I guess we're going to grab Kevin. We're gonna have Kevin clear out these uh, bushes for us real quick. I could do it by hand, but I'm lazy. I don't wanna do it by hand. <laughs> Would we could just walk through here with him, give a couple swipey swipes and uh, get rid of all these for our buildable area. Now I'm thinking we're gonna have the stables more on the opposite side over there. Um, so let's see, are you already heavy? Let's just go ahead and drop all this. We don't need to keep any of it. We're just using him as a bulldozer for the moment to clear out all these bushes and stuff. That way I don't have to worry about them clipping through the um, foundations and stuff. I did, as you saw in my inventory, get ready with a bunch of, um, let's get rid of this one here too. Okay, perfect. Kevin, buddy, thanks for your service, my friend. Let's go ahead and park you over here next to the dick. And boop. Oh, we're having that water glitch again. Oh my God, the lighting in this game, the glitches. <laughs> That's frustrating, gonna reload. All right, we're back. Things are loading in. Everything looks good. Lighting seems uh seems to be okay. It's fantastic. Okay, so um, hmm, what do we want to do here? Let's see. So I got thirty five foundations here. I'm thinking I want to do this at a like five by seven. And I want to obviously start on this high point. These areas might be an issue. I might need more foundations, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Let's start. Let's start here. So we'll do um like one here, two three, four, and five. 
We could even go a little more this way if we wanted to. Like here. Um, what if we went here? No, oh, yeah, we're gonna need more foundations for sure. This is actually a pretty good spot. I like this one here. So we'll come there. All oh, right, we can't stack foundations. Hmm, that is a true. I'm so used to S plus. Why wouldn't they allow us to stack foundations? Oh my gosh. Maybe we can actually, let me experiment with this for a moment here. So if I place you here, I press Q. Uh, Q doesn't do anything. I can't even change the way it snaps. See, that is just unfortunate. If I come this way, oh my goodness. Can we come this way without, uh, yeah, there we go. One there, one there. Okay, I think we might be getting close. We might have an issue here. Um, Sorry about that, Vesper. You're gonna have to just suck that up. Okay, so if I get rid of these ones here. Oh, I want stackable foundations so bad. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, I hope that, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't even really looked at the mods yet, so I don't know if we're gonna get any mods. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, right? Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. So that's number six there. We could probably remove this one now. That gives us our five. And then uh, I think we're gonna have to move Vesper and Glacier out of the way for a minute. Steven's gonna have to go too. Uh, I'm gonna need this saddle. I really need to get on making another saddle for, uh, for Glacier here. But I haven't been wanting to uh, spend the uh, Titan on it or anything yet because I don't have that much. All right, you guys go over there. Steven, my friend, come here, you little beaver butthole. We're gonna put you right over here just for now. There you go. Next to the feeding trough, enjoy your snacks. There's bushes here, we better get rid of those too. Okay, jump back up here. My tiny little legs, oh, I can't make it. I'm too short, I got tiny legs. Okay, so there's five there, that's good. Now can we come through with uh, seven of these? How many do we got so far? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Actually, it's gonna bring us within range of the water, which uh, might be useful. Oh, come on! <laughs> what the? Oh. Hey, we might have to shift it over one more this way. Oh, I am not happy about that. Dude, foundations should stack, you know? Don't you think? Okay, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so can we come here? Are we gonna be able to place? Yeah, one there, one there. Okay, nice. And we could come all the way through here. I'll clip it into the ground. Oh, I'm not happy with the location of this though. I mean, maybe it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. So annoying. <laughs> let me stack my foundations, please. All right, let's pick you up. All right, let's just do another quick uh, double check of Reno. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bye, George, we've done it. Okay. Let's get these finished laid in. Oh, if one of these does not Plate. I'm in. <laughs> Here it is. If uh watch this, watch this is not gonna place. Oh, you better. Oh, we've done it. Oh golly gracious. I love it so much. Okay. Now for the pen, uh, for the beetles and such. Where do we want to put that? I want to keep it nearby. Hmm. Oh, this is way too close to the house now. It's not, it, it'll be okay. I like it. I guess maybe. Oh, there's this freaking hole in the ground right here. So that's not going to be very conductive to a pen, is it? Hmm. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Let's see what it looks like here. So what I've done is I've made some fence foundations. So let's go ahead and place it here like that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't see. Let's zoom in. Six and uh, seven. So I wanted to go seven by one two, three, and four. And then I can come through with these like that. Back to seven, which is easy because we're just coming right to, I can't see this foundation here. I think that went all the way there. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, now I want to go uh, one, two, three, and I wanna have a wall here it comes straight through across just like that and then i have um 
No, those are walls. I need these. Yeah. I need these to be fences. So if I come one, two, three, four. <laughs> I mean, like, what the? Oh, my goodness. Great. This is going to be the weirdest stable ever. That's okay. I can make more and we can level it out and see um, how it'll look after. Okay, we're going to put a door there. Uh, we got this here. We're going to put a door here and we'll bring these up like that. Yeah, I think we're going to need more wall or more uh, railings in places, you know, like here, here, probably here and here. Does it bother me? That these things are all like out of whack. Mm hmm. It certainly does bother me. It bothers me a lot more than you might think it would. Um, but that's okay. Why do I have four extras of these? Did I not do four by three? I think I did four by three, right? We got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Hmm. Obviously, I don't know how to count when I originally made those. Now, I don't know if there's gates. I don't think there is. So we're going to use, um, we're going to use these as like, doors in here and then we'll just pop on doors right i think that's gonna hey, look stupid but what can you do i don't uh, know of any other method to have doors there should be doors with windows or something i mean i don't know it's gonna work we might even bring the fences up to the same height as those or as close as we can uh let's go make a bunch more railings because we're gonna need some to separate the pens so we're gonna have one side for the fioma and one side for the dung beetles uh, I also don't need all this crap on me. Get out of here. See you later. Um, yeah, we can transfer these in, that in, and I guess we're good there. Let's take some wood, some of that, and uh, where's my fiber? There's my fiber. Come in here, and we want wood, and we want railings, which are these guys. And how many am I going to do? Um, I guess let's just do 50. Okay, we got those let's come over here and um let's see if we can make this a little better it'd be nice if we can maybe have the height like up here so let's do uh, that's not what i wanted i want you my friend and i want you to be a fence there we go bring these up to like this height i guess and i want to keep it somewhat you're being weird there we go somewhat the same height i guess like three high I'm not worried about them getting out. I just want it to like look proper, you know, not like super duper goofy. I think it's going to look goofy anyway, but uh, <laughs> we're we're working with what we have. So and then two and that should be good. I don't think anything's getting out there, but we'll put the beetles on the inside just in case. Let's separate these friends from each other a little bit by going like this. And uh, maybe one more. Yeah, we can do one more here and there and right there good enough so we got two pans here let's open up the doors i like it i think it you know what it doesn't look too bad i think it looks okay i think uh maybe i should have put like stone on the bottom oh dung beetles are gonna be super hard to see i think we're gonna put dung beetles in this one and we're gonna put fioma in this one um and we might as well get two fioma i guess we can go tame them now so we've got the pens done Obviously, I need to collect more glass, and uh, we need cementing paste and stuff before I can get on building the greenhouse, but this is all about planning. I am going to gather up more uh, more glass, or crystal, I mean, and cementing paste and stuff, and then uh, next episode, we're going to build the greenhouse to get that whole deal set up. But uh, today, yeah, we're going to go get a Fioma. So let me grab what I need, and uh, yeah, we'll head out. All right, I think we have everything we need. So I've got some Mijo berries. I mean, I could use veggies, but their level doesn't really matter that much. I mean, if we get a high level, cool, or a couple high levels, that's fine. Uh, we've got all of our trank arrows, all of our stuff. We have a couple uh, bolas. We don't need too many. We're going to take Winston out for this adventure because uh, they're Fiumas. I know I've seen them all over here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find a Fioma, unlike the Dodicarus. So let's hope we find one uh, quickly. <laughs> that would be uh, a nice change of pace as to the dinos we've been trying to look for lately. Oh, I see him running over there. Ah snakes naturally snakes there's a fioma was running that way get rid of the snake okay Let's see if we can hunt that chunky little bugger down here fioma fioma i want to tame you hmm where did he go fast little bugger ah i found our prey what level is he anyway an 84 i think he'll do just fine 
to, uh, yeah, we'll grab the bola and uh, we'll just stop him from being able to move so we can shoot him in his face. Hey, buddy. There you go. Holy 333 damage. Oh, that's okay. You're out now. All right. Feel my number one acquired. All right. We could probably... Do we want to leave this guy here? I better wait with him. He's going to end up getting attacked and killed. Feel my... Uh, like to die. Everything likes to eat them. I mean, look at them. They're juicy, delicious bacon. Mm! But I need you for your poo, not your food, my friend. So you're safe. <laughs> Bioma number one acquired. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take him home and then hunt for another one. Are you coming? Yeah, you're coming. Come on, little buddy. Let's take you home and put you in your stall. Okay, well, you're probably too fat to fit through the door. I mean, I guess we can try, but he needs a name. So let's, um, we're going to name him uh, Poopy One. Yep, he's Poopy number one. So let's put Poopy number one over in here. Come on, Poopy. Will you fit through the, no, you're being a derp, aren't you? Dude, where are you going? All right, you know what? Fine. Stay there, and uh, we'll just use Glacier to move you in there. Come on, Glacier. I haven't put you to use in a little bit, so uh, we better better put you to use here. Let's pick up Poopy1. There we go. And Poopy1's going to go into his little enclosure here. Uh, there you go. Poopy1, you hang out, bud. Yep, that's your new uh, that's your new home. Welcome. Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the ranch. Darkularity's ranch. Okay, we're gonna head on on Winston and we're gonna find Poopy 2. Which beautiful Fioma is gonna grace us with, with its next Poopy presence? Hmm. Don't see any close by, so I guess we're gonna have to go on another adventure. My gosh, the <laughs> the jungle is a scary place now in ASA. Like, oh man, I don't... Ark kind of sometimes would scare me in the early game, but now, like... It's just, you can't see if anything's coming from anywhere. It's gonna get attacked by a pack of raptors at any time. Now, we don't necessarily need two Fiomas, but, um, you know, I don't want Poopy One to get lonely. And with the amount of Stimberries I'm gonna pump through him, I think his uh, his stomach's gonna need a bit of a break. Um, so we're gonna need to, because I don't want him, uh, well, you know, you know, if we need a lot of poo and uh, we starve him, then, um, yeah, you know, it might be a bit of an issue for us. So we might as well have the Poopy have a friend. Um, hmm. Still, like, field mods are usually everywhere. Why is it when you're looking for something in Ark, you can never find it? By gosh. Why did I say by gosh? I don't think I've ever said that before. Has anyone ever said that before? Ah, eh, oh well. You know, we all do weird things sometimes. That's a ah, Carno! Ah, uh, we can kill him. It's okay. <laughs> See what I mean? He was hidden in there. Hidden in those little trees. Wow, did Carnos get smaller? He looks kind of tiny. I bet you he ate all the Fiomas too. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do we have here, my little friends? So we got a 66. What's uh, what's your, the other guy here? An 18? Well, obviously, we're going to take the 66. You're safe, little 18. Hi, buddy. You're going to be poopy number two. Boop. What was that? Um, it should only take two shots, just like the other one. Maybe one. Oh, goodness. He's going to die if he takes one more of those. He's out. Are you fighting me? Are you serious right now? It's so weird that Mama Fiomas or Parent Fiomas attack you. <laughs> like, he, I've never been attacked by a Fioma at all in our... Oh, we could have just tamed up this little guy. That's okay. And the babies have a lot of health. There you go. We'll get you all killed up, you little... Did, did he die? I have no idea. No clue. Let's uh, pop some berries into this guy. Boop, here you go. <gasps> no, no, no. I'm going to knock you out and then kill you. Yeah, see, you messed with the wrong dude. All right. Um, yeah, one more feeding, and uh, Poopy 2 is going to be up. Oh, I hear footsteps. What is that? Oh, Ovi Raptor. Freaking me out, bud. Perfect. We got ourselves a Poopy 2. <laughs> uh, Poopy 2, are you ready to go home, my friend? Okay, let's go. We're going to head her home now. All right, Poopy 2, welcome home. You're about to... Uh, you're about to be Poopy One, your longtime friend. Now I wonder, I never saw, do we have a male and a female? Hmm, that would be cool. We can maybe breed them. Have little baby poopies. We could have little poopy pantses. Let's have a look here. Uh, what do we have? Are you a male or are you a female? You're a female and you're a male. <laughs> we could have baby poopies. We could have little poos. We could name them turds. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we gotta do now? 
I guess we can put Winston away. We're done with him for now. Come on, Winston. Over here you go, my friend. Thank you for your service, kind of raptor. Now, we need... What are you doing down here, Steven? Oh, I left you there. That's right. Okay, that's fine. We need a stable for all these guys. Just parking them wherever. Crazy. Karen, unfortunately, you're going to have to stay outside. There's nowhere for you. Uh, I'm not building something that big just yet. Okay. So now we need dung beetles. Where are we going to go for that? The only place I can think of for dung beetles is... Uh, let's zoom out here. Is I believe there was a cave over here somewhere. Uh, it's really the only cave I remember, actually. Uh, beyond the one that's in here. <laughs> the uh, uh, tech cave, right? I think there's a cave here. I think we're going to have to venture in there to get a dung beetle. So in order to do that, we're going to need some spoiled meat. Um, and then we're going to take... Well, we're not going to take Glacier. We're going to take Vesper over there. So let's, uh, let's put Glacier away. Swap this saddle here. And uh, I'll grab what I need. And then I'll see you guys over at the cave. And hopefully it won't be too crazy. I've got... Uh, hmm, I might need to make some more shotgun ammo. Yeah. Only got seven. Uh, can Vesper go in the cave? I mean, maybe... Uh, Calm down there. What level are you? Are you useful? 84? No, you're not that useful. Okay, maybe I'm going to need some more shotgun ammo. And then we're going to go down there. Because maybe I can take Vesper in there. But I feel like the doorway is pretty small to that one. Um, and a sleeping bag would probably be useful as well, too. I'm pretty sure that I have a sleeping bag in here. We can take with us. Um, if not, I'll make one. Okay, we'll see you guys over there. Okay, well, I think we I think we're at the cave here. I think it's here. I don't know what I was thinking either. Let me open the map here. I was earlier when I was like, yeah, there's a cave over here. I was I don't know why I was pointing at the redwood. I should have come up. This is what I was looking at right here. And this is uh, where the cave is right here. I think this is it. Oh, this looks cave-ish to me. Now I wonder, can we take this guy in? Uh is that a trudon? Hmm, look like a trudon there. Yep, sure is. I guess we'll kill him first. And then, uh, jump off. So I've gone ahead, I prepared, I made, uh, so we got some shotgun ammo, which is fantastic. We got our crossbow. Oh no. Who's hitting him? Don't hit my baby. Freaking Trudons, dude. Are you serious right now? Where are they coming from? Is Trudons in this cave? Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, shotgun ammo. We've got some grappling hooks. We got a couple sleeping bags, which I'm just going to place out here. And I'm going to put one here and one there, just in case. You never know. Now, the goal of this isn't to complete the cave. I don't want to complete the cave. I just want to find dung beetles. I don't remember if we could fit a bird in here or not. I feel like it gets pretty tight, but we're certainly going to try. Uh, Oh, wait. Oh, you can't mount in here? Hmm. Apparently, I don't have cave flying on. Okay, well, I hope you're going to be safe here, my friend. Uh, we're venturing in. Let's pop out our torch and put it on our belly button. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the shotgun's going to... Oh, this is... This looks amazing! Wow, <laughs> that was weird. Um... Ooh. Is this one poisonous? I can't remember now. Oh, uh, we just need, like, one dung beetle or two dung beetles. One would be good! I'd be happy with one. Two would be great. Oh, please don't die. I don't want our Argentavis to die. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's track our RG. Where is she? Who did we bring with us? What was her name? Uh, Vesper. That's who we brought with us. Let's bring her, and then I'm just going to track her so I can see her on the map. And uh, hopefully that icon doesn't disappear. Oh, there's creepy noises in here. Okay, we can go that way or that way. Let's go this... Oh, there's an Onik. We got Onik... Die! Die! Oh no! Oh no! I have rabies! Mega rabies! Oh, rabies already. Oh, this is not going good for us. Uh, it won't last too long. I also brought some, uh, some of those health potions that we had. Yeah, you got nothing good on you. Ah, oh, mega rabies already. That is unfortunate. Okay. Is there going to be a dung beetle in here? Oh, this is spooky stuff. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a uh, explorer note. I guess we might as well take it. Where oh, it there's a bunch of onyx the there. Cochradon, Ultra Megalodon. Ooh, I kind of want to bring a raptor in here, honestly. As I'm scared. As I'm scared to do this on foot. Megalodon is near its equal in the water. In addition, 
It has um, a speed advantage over any non-aquatic creature oh, it, when submerged. Megalodon's it makes it less creepy that she's talking, which is uh, which makes me less scared. So they attack most. Uh, let's eat some food, bring back some health a little bit. Smaller fish are the Maybe we'll use one of these. Okay, more on it. Because they cost more Scorpions on up. Oh game. no! I don't Having want more rabies, dude. Reload! And treasures hidden deep within the ocean. Oh no, I'm gonna die. This is why it was a bad idea to come here. The megalodon, <laughs> though difficult to domesticate, proves to be very useful when exploring the deep sea. It's not the most efficient swimmer, but it should be able to protect your cargo should you find yourself in a hostile encounter. Okay, well that went exactly as I was expecting it to go. Um. Hmm. I need my gear back um, and I can't ride her right Is that correct yeah I can't ride her so no cave flyers um okay what are we gonna do here uh, follow me I think I'm gonna come back with the raptor I think that's what's gonna happen we're gonna carry the raptor back and uh, yeah I guess I'll be right back um, I think my bag should be okay a bug I've noticed is when you die, you kind of lose your stuff. So, I don't know. We'll be right back with uh, with the raptor in tow. Okay, we made it back. Now, there is a pretty good chance. Where's Winston? Where did Winston go? I know I just dropped him off. Oh, oh, Winston's up there. Oh, hey, Winston. Uh, I forgot that you're still following me. Okay. We're going to leave the bird here. There's a pretty good chance that uh, we lose both of them. <laughs> Whistle passive and we'll whistle stop and then Winston you're up there. You silly goose Why don't you follow me down here, bud? Come on Come on Winston. That's a good boy. Now, like I said, there's a pretty good chance that uh, Yeah, we lose all and you know what actually let's um, let's keep him on uh, Follow but let's also whistle oh, I don't want to whistle. Let's just come into options and does this still work the same way? Where is behavior? No. Behavior, there we go. Let's have him put on uh, medium passive. Let's put him on neutral, I guess. All right, so there's a good chance he might die. This might be Winston's last day on earth. I don't know. Uh, it was ours a moment ago. So here's hoping we don't die. I was 64 meters that way. Right. I just want my stuff back, mostly. I hope my bag didn't glitch out and disappear. Okay, we got dead on it here. Fantastic. <laughs> That's creepy. Okay. Winston, kill them all. Kill them all. Don't die. How's this health doing? He's doing good. He's doing all right. He's got rabies. Nice. Okay, I think we're doing okay so far. His health is okay. We can always force feed him to get his health back if we need to. I can't see what's going on. Um, he's taking damage. Where's the onyx? Oh, it's so hard to see in here. Oh, Winston's not doing good. Let's back up. Oh, Winston's not doing good. Oh, they're all mate boosted with each other. Okay, we got another one down. Oh, there's one left. Come on, Winston, get him, buddy. Oh, there's two left. Oh, this is just not going good. Oh, they're so hard to hit. Winston, attack it. What are you doing? Okay, that one's down. Now, there was another one somewhere. There it is. Now, does Winston have rabies? I have rabies. I don't, I don't know if Winston has rabies or not. Oh, they're so hard to hit. Yeah, Winston's not doing good. I'm going to have to feed him after we kill this one. Oh, okay. Can I get my stuff back now? Uh, I'm going to feed Winston. Oh, perfect. I think this is my bag. It's all my stuff. Oh, yes, stuff. Perfect. Okay, uh, I need to heal up real quick. And I need to eat some food. And I need to have a drinky poo. Uh, why did everything come off my toolbar? Hmm, I don't like that at all. It's equipped all this stuff. Apparently my hands broke, but that's okay. Crossbow can go here. Um, what else did I have on my bar? Uh, I think I had those down there. 
And we had this guy here. And what did I have here? Uh, this thing here. Okay, we get it. You're sick. Stop coughing. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm going to heal Winston up uh, and myself up and then uh, continue through. I'm, I'm hoping we can find one before things get too crazy. Okay, we're healed. Good enough. I think um, there's an Onik on the wall here. There we go. A couple shots at it. Put this away. Frick, I got rabies again? It's been like two seconds. Oh, I hope there's no more of these stupid bats. I hate them. I hate rabies. I can't remember if there's something we can get to um, prevent catching rabies or not. I need to uh, zoom in the camera a little bit here. Okay, there we go. That should help. Now, I think maybe it's poisonous in here. I keep coughing. Um, I, It doesn't show me that I have anything. Hmm. Not sure. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a Megalosaur. <laughs> okay, a Megalosaur. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, almost got him down. Come on, buddy. Oh, I love the uh, battle damage now. It looks so good. I'll bring you guys back if anything exciting happens. Hopefully, I'll find something. Dung Beetle, that'd be uh, great. Hmm, Scorpion's incoming. Fantastic. This should be an easy fight. Okay, well, you know what? Change plans. <laughs> I am definitely underprepared to uh, come in this cave. Uh, Winston and I are, uh, yeah, we're almost dead. My health is going down. I got no more health pots left. Uh, Winston, yeah, he's been going up, but it's uh, it's mighty dangerous down there. There's a bunch of scorpions. There's a bunch of uh, whatever those centipede things. I don't remember what they're called. The ones that shoot poison at you and destroy all your armor. I just, uh, yeah, I can't do this cave. So you know what? We're going to wrap this episode up here. I think we're probably going to use compost bins for a bit. Um, unless I can do some research, figure out where else I can get some dung beetles. Oh, Winston. Have a little snack, buddy. You did good. You did so good. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to call it here, guys. If you like the episode, please do smash that like button. It really does help with the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed and you want to see more videos just like this, smash that subscribe button and then hit that bell. That way you're going to be notified on when the videos go live. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming out and we will see you next time. Uh, peace.